Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. One of the major concerns for couples that come for IVF is the problem of twins. Would IVF result in twins? Because in some cases, it's not just clinically difficult, but also for a couple to raise two kids is difficult. So this is a very common question that we are asked. Let's look at the answers. The short answer to this question is no. The process of IVF in itself does not necessarily lead to a substantially higher risk of multiple pregnancies. Statistically, women who undergo IVF have multiple pregnancies, definitely twins, triplets or high order multiples at a higher rate than women who conceive naturally. According to statistics, around 40% of all IVF pregnancies result in multiple births. This is a concerning percentage, especially when comparing it to natural occurrence rate of about 2% only in general population. The main reason for this is the practice of transferring more than one embryo at a time in an IVF cycle. Until recently, most fertility doctors routinely transferred multiple embryos in the hope of achieving a better chance of success. The reason for this is that many embryos have chromosomal abnormalities, which means that they are not actually viable. This is true whether the embryos are conceived naturally or through IVF. Because egg quality tends to decline over the years, the proportion of abnormal embryos generally goes up as a woman ages. Placing two or more embryos into the uterus at a time was thought to increase pregnancy rates with the hope that at least one would survive. Quite often, more than one embryo will successfully implant, resulting in a multiple pregnancy. So what are the risks of multiple pregnancy and birth? Preeclampsia, gestational, diabetes, intrauterine growth restriction, placental abruption, fetal demise or loss, death of the fetus. The birth itself can also present many dangers such as higher rate of cesarean birth, preterm labor, delivery, low birth weight, etc. So it's always advisable and now with advanced technique, it's better to select the best embryos and transfer one or two. With a proper grading system and with the good quality laboratories, we are now able to select the embryo that survives the best and transfer that into the uterus, thereby bringing down the multiple pregnancy rates. If you want to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.